and I will demonstrate it um, to you on one of these plastic blocks. I have chosen the appropriate Gutta Fusion obturator and I take a paper point to insert the sealer. This is the amount of sealer that I actually need. You see little sealer. The most common mistakes that I see is too much sealer, way too much sealer, and the insertion of the obturator too fast. So let's say I'm obturating uh, this. I insert the paper point and place the sealer in the root canal. And you can see it's a thin layer of sealer. We need mostly gutta percha, only very, very little sealer. I now heat the obturator and it takes a minute. And then don't be afraid that it will cool off on you too quickly. We have all the time. You know, with the students, it was always, they were very anxious that it would cool down on them too quickly. So they inserted it and went like this. It's like stabbing. But you know, it's a warm material, it needs to flow somewhere. So that's why it's important to insert it really slowly. And if we do so, then we allow the material to actually adapt the way that we want it. So clinically, we look at it and see, is it shiny or not? Yes, it is. And so I'm ready to go. Obviously, it's important to aim. And then look at that, this is the, slowly and allow the material to actually fill the anatomy that we want. And now comes the biggest difference in clinical procedure compared to previous carrier-based operation. Now usually we had to use some type of rotary instrument to cut off the plastic carrier. Now if you look at the carrier all we have to do is bent it back and forth. I like to compare it with breaking a spaghetti. So that makes it clinically a nice feature that helps us to avoid the hassle of shearing off the plastic carrier. And I would continue to clean the, the cavity of the gutta percha and then place a post-endodontic restoration.